everyone. How's everybody doing? Thanks for joining me. Welcome back. And as promised, this is my palettes that stood out to me in the year of 2018. So if you guys are interested in seeing what I picked out, keep on watching. All right. I have a lot of palettes to go through here. I have eyeshadow palettes and face palettes both. Uh, more so eyeshadow palettes, but I do have some face palettes here and it goes from high end to drugstore and in between. It's just like all over the place. So let's get started because I have quite a few here to go through. And as I told you guys, uh, my standouts, how I'm going to do it from now on, like every year, when I share products like from 2018, I want them to be, I want them to be products that were either new to me or just new in general. Uh, so I'm not repeating myself. Obviously, I have my particular favorites of other items and products, and I've shared them throughout. I just wanted to remind you guys of that. And now, these eyeshadow palettes I have shared last year in my favorites of the year. But these ones are two uh, newer ones. This collection, and it's from Maybelline, and it's the City Mini Palettes. And... I like to share these because I feel like for the price, which mine are like around almost $8, the performance I get with these are really good for drugstore, like really, really good. And I have the bronze one I showed last year and a couple other ones. I think at this point I can say I have five of these. They have ones that are all matte, some that have shimmer and matte. So this one caught my attention because this has all them warm colors that I really like and it's in number 530 High Rise Sunset and these are all matte actually. I wore this the other day and then added a little shimmer pop in my in on my eyelids and it looked really good. I really do like this one but this one's a little bit more of my favorite and this is 510 Blushed Avenue and it has those colors that I really like. There's like purple in there and some really pretty pink colors. You do have several shimmers and you have some mattes. It's just very pretty. So I really like that. So I would highly recommend checking out these little city mini palettes from Maybelline. And staying in Maybelline, <laughs> I did not try the other palette, but I did pick up the Soda Pop one. This has some of the purples and oranges, a lot of the colors that I'm prone to. And the other one is lemonade something, or it's, it's something with the word lemonade. I like the names in this. It's really cute. Like they have Coca-Cola Coca Float, Ginger Ale, uh, Grape Pop, Cherry on Top, uh, Root Beer, Soda Fizz. They're just, the names are super cute. But again, with this here, I know the other one got mixed reviews, but this here, the eyeshadow has really performed really nice. I mean, look at Crushing. There's like that really pretty pop of orange in there. Cherry on top has to be a very gorgeous matte shade. Like, it almost reminds me of uh, Makeup Geek Cherry. I think hers is Cherry Cola. I think that's the name of hers. So it does remind me of that. But these are just really beautiful colors. And this one is the Soda Pop Collection from Maybelline. Face Palette. I actually shared this in my video not too long ago when I was doing a Get Ready With Me, telling you guys about like what had happened with my mom and the whole, the whole thing. And this one is by Lorac. I cannot stop using this palette, cannot stop. And it's funny because I have two colors in here already but it doesn't matter because I just can't stop using this palette. And we have two highlights over here, which Bold Spirit and uh, Opalescent. Bold Spirit was already in the palette with the Pirates of the Caribbean blush and highlight palette. So it's a repeat. I think they need to make that permanent. If they haven't already, I'm not sure if they have or not. I'd have to look. If they have not, I think they need to make Bold Spirit a permanent color because it is just beautiful. I mean, like it goes on so, oh, just so pretty. And then Aurora is the other one I have. I have the blush single of Aurora and it's a really pretty naturally mauve shade. Um, but I just, I keep grabbing this palette and I did see it was on sale at Ulta. So I highly recommend because Lorac Highlights and blushes are some of my favorites. I love these. Okay, BoxyCharm. BoxyCharm 
introduces us a lot of times to brands I've especially for me brands I've never heard of I'm not sure how you pronounce this brand a Tamar but this is a gorgeous palette again it has those beautiful warm colors in there oh this is so gorgeous I wore this a lot in the summertime and this shade here they are mentioned and named there's like La Cosa Ella Macan or something uh Ella Macan that one's a really pretty color uh Tropico I mean they're just beautiful this is a mustard shade of some sort Coca Taxi <laughs> all right they're just they're beautiful and I do believe they have another shadow I should have palette out I think it was Kathleen Lights that raved over this palette and that's kind of how this brand got introduced I'm not sure if they're one of them indie brands but hey them indie brands are popping out every which way left and right speaking for, of one of them brands Juvia Place I only got two palettes one is space one is eyeshadow and I'm impressed with the whole both of them and this is the um, Juvia Place blush palette I believe it's oh it says right there it's volume two they have volume one and volume two I picked out volume two because the shades just looked more of something I would like and they are gorgeous gorgeous shades now some of these might get too bright or be too much I just use very lightly uh, these two I can use as um, this one I can use more as a highlight this one I use as a cheek to like put it over top of the blush to kind of give that more glowing look um, this one here almost you can use I can use as a bronzer if I wanted to and they're just beautiful also you can use them as eyeshadows I know some people use them as eyeshadows which I thought about doing but this one's in volume two and it's the Juvia Place highlight blush palette so staying in Juvia Place I did pick up the uh, Sierra uh, 2 by Juvia I think it's the second must be the second one their packaging is just so beautiful the designs that they put on there oh my gosh I just love them and there's two other palettes I would really like to get so they had this great sale which that's why I picked up some of these palettes and oh my goodness the pigmentation in all of them like that blush you have to be very careful just quick dab and pop it on that is what you really should do because you could get carried away and same thing with this you have to do a quick dab and then place it they are so pigmented but this is such a gorgeous palette I mean these two here that are like of a um copper shades or like this is like a reddish copper shade and then you got the beautiful pops of blue and these mattes up here well down here I have it switched around but oh my goodness yes so uh, there's a couple of palettes I want to get from them so yeah, this one is the Sararian Saharian I'm probably butchering that and I apologize uh palette this palette surprised me and I love when a palette surprises me I love when a palette I think one way and then it, it does the other it does the opposite and that is the essence spice up your life palette seriously if you see this because I think it's around four dollars for something three something their palettes are very reasonable might be a little bit more because it has a little more extra shadows in it than it does in some of their normal palettes and I love again the names like this is perfect when fall was around and um, you have pumpkin spice uh, at spice apple cider uh, maple cha-cha wild pepper there's a lot of shimmers and mattes in here which that red is a matte and it is a really good color I've used this quite a bit and I've been impressed every single time um, this was one of them palettes that when I swatched it it just was like mm, yeah, just swatched okay and that's why a lot of people say when you're swatching a palette don't go by the swatches because it can be either way you could swatch it and the eyeshadows could look exceptional on your hand and they look like they'd perform great and then once you put them on your eye it's a total flop I've had that I've experienced that and with this one it was like the swatches were just eh, okay you know and but holy moly when I put them on my eyes wow like they just performed really good so I know they have a few others but I am somebody that really still enjoys the warm tones I like some cool tones but I just really want nuts wild crazy with a lot of the uh, warm tones but spice up your life from essence so let's share another one that I 
totally shocked me. I seen this in my Rite Aid and it is actually from the company Koki. I have not tried anything from Koki and I seen this palette. It's called the Artist Palette Peachy, Peachy Queen. It has like two shimmers here, which this one here and this one here, those two are the shimmers, which sorry about that because it's very like uh, shiny mirrored kind of a palette. So there's only two shimmers, all the rest are matte. And in swatching, it was like not that great, you know, like I wasn't seeing anything really great about it. So I was like, mm, I don't know, but oh, I, I grabbed this a good bit. And again, like the performance was just there. It, it did really good. And now the shimmers, I will tell you the shimmers aren't the huge uh, uh, shimmer that I, I like myself, that I prefer. If you're somebody that's not wanting, wanting that intense shimmer, you probably would like this palette because it does have more matte and it does have the couple shimmer and it's just a uh, very, uh, subtle. So I did find I had to use my, uh, white pencil, the milk pencil from, uh, NYX if I wanted to get what I was looking for. But oh my goodness, I was so impressed with this palette. I could not believe it. So speaking of peach palettes, I purchased the white peach palette from Too Faced and it was on sale at uh, Sephora. Sephora had it on sale and it is more cooler tones. Oh my goodness, I love this palette. I really do. Um, it has quite a bit of mattes in this one and then several different shimmers. Oh my goodness, like that looks like diamonds, like a di diamonds like sparkling on your eyes if you put that on. Um, it's peach ice actually is what it's called and it's just a beautiful palette and it ha it, I like the peach scent from this one better than the, what is it, sweet peach, the original sweet peach. So yes, I love this white peach palette from Too Faced and then also from Too Faced which I have. Uh, I had to get it. Well, I didn't have to get it. I wanted it because I'm all about the gingerbread and I have seen a lot of people sharing the gingerbread palette and you've probably seen it all over. I mean, quite a bit, you know, the colors are just gorgeous. Um, unfortunately, I don't think you can get it anymore. It doesn't smell like gingerbread, but I didn't see anywhere where it claimed it. First, I thought it was going to, I just assumed it. And then I looked and it was like, yeah, it didn't really claim it, but you can smell the cocoa scent, but oh my goodness, these colors. This is a gorgeous palette. Too Faced really did a great job with this Christ this palette here for around Christmas, the gingerbread one, face palette. Okay, so I never tried Anastasia's highlighters until I tried the Emerezi one, which that was my last year's highlight highlighter in my favorites of last year. Love that highlighter or highlighter. Well, I did get the Aurora palette. And I actually found mine in TJ Maxx. I was so thrilled because I liked the Amorezzi one, so I couldn't wait to try some more. This one's really nice. I didn't know how much I would really think about it because, you know, you have one that looks like a lime green and then a blue. You have like different unique shades, but that's what I liked about it. And I could see myself even maybe using these as a topper on my eyelids if I wanted to as eyeshadows. That's the great thing about these kind of palettes like this. They're so versatile. You know, you can use them however you want. Luna is actually one of my favorites that I like to put right in the inner corner and just use as a pop of color, which I will show you because I don't have anything there. I use Luna a lot in that area. See, that is insane. Crazy. And that's the one I like to use the most because it brightens in the inner corner there. Definitely love this palette and I'm hoping to find some more of her products in my TJ Maxx. I know a lot of people have been finding them in TJ Maxx. ColourPop. The only ColourPop eyeshadow palette I picked up this year was, I think was the only one. Might have got one in my Boxy Charm. But this one I really liked a lot and it's the uh, Princess one from ColourPop. The color, the Princess Collection. And oh my goodness, do I love the colors, which again, sorry, blinding you with all the uh, shininess, but it's so cute. And the names they have in here, like Chip, Grumpy, One Kiss, Fairy Godmother. Um, a lot of you guys liked on my last video, what was on my eyelids and my eye look. 
this is the palette I used actually on my eyes for that eye look because I got a lot of um, compliments on my eyes. Thingamabob is the silver color that you saw on my eyelids. That is an intense shadow color, which as you saw on my video, and I just, I love that one a lot. I should have showed this whenever I was showing Lorac because it should be no surprise, <laughs> of course, but like, um, I don't know, just Lorac and Anastasia, I do have a nice, you know, I, I really love their eyeshadow collections. Um, so far, so good. I haven't had much of any problems with any of the eyeshadow palettes that I've purchased. This palette, I think, is so worth mentioning. These colors are just beautiful, and you can get cool tone, warm tone. There's mattes, there's shimmers. It, it, I just feel like there's so many different um, looks that you could get with this palette, and I, again, think this one's on sale, and I did use this on that same video that I was talking about. Uh, it was like a chit chat, get ready with me kind of video. So yes, I went a little bit nuts on Hush. And Bad Habit was the brand that I mostly bought from because they had the dupes or similar to uh, higher end brands that, you know, are very expensive. And some of them I just can't afford. I can't either see myself paying for it or I just can't afford in general. And one of the palettes that I had wanted, it was Natasha Denona's Sunset Palette. So I picked up the Bad Habit um, Solus Palette, and this is a beautiful, if you like the yellows, the golds, um, there's some browns in there, there's that pop of red in there. This is a really nice palette, and it has those really pretty colors. And a lot of people compared this or felt that it was close or similar to. I'm quite happy with this, and I believe some of these have been like round $12 or something. So that's one. That's bad from Bad Habit. The next one from Bad Habit is another Natasha Denona, I believe, compared to or duped to her star palette, the big star palette. This one is Divine, is the name. If you look, because I've seen that palette, because back in the day I had thought about getting, getting it, but here's the colors in this palette. Now I do like that they put the names, obviously they'd have nice mirrors on these sets, but this really has a lot of those colors that's in, in the star palette. So yeah, I, I've used this quite a bit. I, this is probably one of my favorites that I've been using a lot. I, I do really like the divine palette. I would highly recommend this one if you wanted the star palette. And then the other two are the Huda Beauties. Uh, the Huda Beauty uh, compared to Dupe, I got the Athena palette, which, oh my goodness. Now, I really still would kind of like to get the Dusk palette because I do love the colors. But then again, I have this and I just, I really enjoy it. I love it. It has the really pretty purples and oranges and that gold right up here, like a gold. And I, I just, I really enjoy it. Now, there is a good bit of kickback or kick up some of these palettes but the performance is great. I'm not bothered by that. If you're somebody that's bothered by that, then, you know, be aware of that, but I'm not bothered by it. I really enjoy. And then the other one, I love the Aphrodite palette. Really, really like the Aphrodite palette, and it's to be a comparison or dupe to the rose gold. I believe it's the rose gold palette. Oh my goodness, this is so gorgeous. I love this one too. I couldn't stop using this when I first bought it. I was using it quite a bit, like a lot. So yeah, this has those real pretty pinks. Again, some golds, some really pretty nice browns, red browns and out. So yeah, it's, it's really pretty. Really, really like that one. So at this point, I haven't really gotten to use the other palettes, but a company just like these, like they're compared to or dupe, a company reached out to me named C Color, which if you saw the video, if not, I will have it linked up and around here and you can go and check it out. But uh, they had sent me some palettes and this one here is called Dope. And it is actually a, a dupe for the uh, Laura Lee Nudie Patootie palette. So if you're all about the neutrals in that, 
Um, like I, uh, you can go ahead and look at the review and hear what I had to say, but I've used that and I've really been impressed because the wearability, the longevity, like even with the bad habit ones, the way they last on your eyes and everything has just been great. And then this one is the Around the World palette, which is pretty much compared to or duped to Born to Run palette from Urban Decay. And again, same thing. I mean, it's just the the wearability and the way they stay on. So I really like those kind of companies because, yeah, you know, it's if you can't afford it, you want it. Uh, what's great about this one is um, the Urban Decay one is just, I believe, limited edition. So once it's gone, it's gone. So you can always go ahead, like if it was if, if it's not anymore, I don't know if it's still available. And if not, well, then you can get this one here and have the same because it's pretty much the same because I can tell you, I actually have it in, in here because I do love the Born to Run just as much. I love it just as much as that. I love these two palettes. So face palette. This one is from Becca and it's the Be The Light, which boy, you can see my fingerprints all over on that. I got this when it was on sale and I think it still might be. It's like $29 or something. There's like two powders on each side. One I use, like this one's more of a brightening one. And so I use that to under underneath my eyes a lot of times. And then this one just like blurs out anything. They almost remind me of the Hourglass kind of powders. So I just put that a little bit all over my face. And then you have this blush and that bronzer. I'll tell you what, this blush is gorgeous. It is so pretty. Shimmer to it. That is just so pretty. Um, I know they have the light. I think I got the light to medium and then they have medium to dark. Then I did end up picking up and this has been everywhere. Like everybody's been sharing. The Emily, um, the Once palette from Makeup Revolution, which I really like Makeup Revolution. A lot of the palettes that I've tried so far. The colors in this palette, I knew right away I was going to like because this has all colors that I am very gravitated to that I really like and enjoy. And, you know, you have, I have like the purple shades, um, purple shades, you have the orange shades, you have some red shades, even have some green, like some green shades. Uh, so I knew I could not wait to try this palette out and every look that I've gotten from it, I've been pleased so far. So I really, really like this palette. When I bought that palette, I got a free palette for Makeup Revolution. It's in here in my standouts because holy moly, I really like this and I'm not sure if you can get it or not. It, it came free, but it's fierce as fire. And holy cow, this palette impressed me so much. That's why I put it in here. Um, you have it's almost like a highlighter. Um, it's like a white color. Then there's a peach color, gold shell color, and then that's like a rosy gold color, but you could use them as blush toppers, um, eyeshadows, whatever you want to do. There is some matte shades in here, as you can see. There's like this orange and some berry shades. This is just, wow, like it knocked my socks off. So I had to put it in here. Then lastly, um, this I got from Amazon. I was trying to get it off of the Hush Beauty um, site, but it was always sold out. Every time I was on there, it was sold out. And that is from the company Beauty Creations. And this is the Olivia palette. Now they have Olivia. And then I think the other one's called Alyssa. Alyssa is more cooler tone color of a palette. This is warm tone. No surprise. Like I said, because I am prone to that. So this is more warmer tone palette. Oh my goodness. I didn't know what I would think of it at first. But, but look at the variation of colors that you get in the Olivia palette. I mean, this is insane and they blended nice. It does do the kick up that I get from the Bad Habit palettes, but they blend nice and beautiful and they lasted very nice on my eyes. I mean, just, yes, they worked so nice. I mean, ugh, I don't even know. Like, I feel like 
these, this shade here, they don't have the shade names, unfortunately. Yeah, no, they don't have no shade names. This color here and this one here, I really liked putting on my eyelids a lot because it really intensified on my eyelids really pretty. I have, like the colors in here are just simply gorgeous. So if you like the warm tones, you might like Olivia. If you like the cooler tones, you might like Alyssa. Alyssa has more purples and uh, blue and some other cool tone colors. Okay, everyone, that is all of my palettes. That is a lot of palettes, I know. And I told you guys that's kind of why I separated everything. That's why I did separate everything because I went through so many products this year. I went palette crazy happy. I might actually have a video up where I share some of the disappointing products that I've tried. Um, I think I might work that in somehow. I have quite a few ideas coming up here. So thanks so much guys for joining me. I really appreciate that. If you are not subscribed to my channel, I would so much love to have you. You can go ahead and click the subscribe button that's down below over here. And right next to it, there is a bell, which if you hit the bell, that will notify you by email of when my videos are uploaded ready to watch. So if you guys would like to join me each week and see what's going on and what I'm sharing, what's new and all that kind of stuff, then make sure you hit the bell with the subscribe button. As always, beauties, please remember to be yourself, love yourself, and let the real beauty shine through. So until the next time, you take care. I will see you then. I love you guys. Bye.